Hey guys, I'm back with another uh, mod review, and this one is called Bibliocraft. So, uh, this mod is decorative and very useful. I like it a lot. So, there's a whole bunch of different items and stuff. Uh, so, first one I'm going to show you is the desk. So, you can make most of the items in this mod out of any type of wood. Oak, birch, jungle, and spruce. So these are the oak desks. And all the types of desks. These things are actually very functional too, so... If I just grab some... books... Uh... You can just right click and put them on there, and or you can just right click without anything in your hand and put more in there, and they stack up and they do different things. So you can do that any of the desks, and it just like updates the block on the actual texture. I think that looks really cool. It's even compatible with several mods. So you like from Thumbcraft, you can put the Thumbonomicon. From Mistcraft, you can put all those types of books in there. So you can put tons of different types of books. Uh, I don't think you can put normal books in there. No, you can't. You, you, there is some kind of bug where for some reason you can... No, wait. they f uh, Nope, they fixed it. You used to be able to just shift-click and put items in there. Like, in, even though you're not supposed to be able to. But, uh, yeah. So that was the first one. Wait, let's just get... Uh whole bunch more books because we're going to be needing them for other things too. Uh, hmm. Can we do multiplayer settings and opacity. Just going to turn that off. And scale. Way down. There. Now you can't see it at all. Hopefully. So the next one is the bookshelves. Which can also be you know, oak, spruce, jungle, and birch. Just takes a few slabs and a few planks. These ones are also very nice. Oops, I don't want to do that. Let's just move these out of the way for now. And, okay. So, birch, jungle, spruce, and oak. So again, you can put books in these, and they'll update. Now with the bookcases, they will either show up on the bo uh, t bottom or top. It, the, it doesn't actually show up in the exact place. But th they do fill up, as you can see. Uh, I really like the textures on this. It looks really nice. There's lots of... I love the textures on these things. They look very clean and nice. So let's put these back. There. I just, just click them. I don't need this again. Um... These I don't need. Next we have tool racks. So it's just made with some slabs around an iron ingot for spruce, oak, birch, and jungle again. These are also really cool. And so you can, it actually depends where you click, where it'll put the item. So you can put any of your tools up here and you can left click to, or no, right click again on the item in the spot, and it'll, it'll drop the item again. You can also shift right click with nothing, and you, you can open it up. So, this actually works with most mods too, again. So, you can put your wands from Thumbcraft up here, you can put your... You can even put your portal gun up here, which is really cool. You can put, like, screwdrivers from Red Power, you can put pretty much any tool from any mod up here, which is really cool. I really like that. So, yeah. That's really cool. Let's put these back in here. Next, we have labels, which is just made with any type of slab. Well, wood slab. So, these are actually kind of small. You can use these to put above chests. Like, so you can put like, sm these small, tiny things above chests, but you can, like, um, if you shift-right-click it, can you just right-click? No, you have to shift-right-click. And you can 
put any type of item in here you want so you can label your chests of what items are in there. It only holds three. Um, that's the only problem because I don't usually only have three things in my chest, but I do like that. It's really cool looking. So let's give me my pork chops and books back. Another really cool thing. I don't think you can just right click to put things on there. No, you can't. And that's these. This, I like the labels. I like everything's mod, really. Next we have shelves. One of my favorite parts about this mod. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at ceiling. And they look smaller than they used to be. Uh, last time I used this, it was in 1.417. Apparently it's changed in 1.5.1. Uh, but still, shelves. Put anything on these, anything at all. So you can put pretty much anything in the game you want. So blocks, they show 3D up on there. And then right click again to get them out, I think. Yeah, you can. And so, pretty much, yeah, the shelves are my favorite. They work with anything from pretty much any mod. They show the 3D versions too, so, like, Portal Gun, uh, I don't think it shows a 3D version of the Portal Gun, but, like, if you've seen the Modular Power Suits mod, it shows a 3D hand on that, and a couple other things they would show. So let's get my axe. Eh, uh, give me my axe. Let's get rid of this stuff. Sort my inventory again. Faster way of doing it. So yeah, that was the shelves. Pretty easy to craft. Most everything in this mod is pretty easy to craft. So next ones we have potion shelves. You can do this with the same thing with the shelves. Um, so I don't see too much of use for this. It just looks a little tiny bit different. So shelves, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so if you get some potion, you can get just any type of potion and just slap them on there. They hold a lot more, but they only hold potions. Like, I can't put torches in here. I can't put pork chops in there. Only potions. But they do look really nice on there, and they do show up where they're supposed to show up. So, yeah, the, these look really nice. I like these a lot. Uh, so, that's the shelves, or potion shelves. Do that again. There is one other thing, but I'll show you that afterwards because I couldn't fit it all in one chest, but, um... Uh, hmm. I don't really understand the tape measure. I couldn't figure out what it does. But you can try to figure out. It does make a little bit of a noise, if you can hear that. Yeah, you can make it with a tape measure reel. Like, so basically you just make the tape measure with four iron around a tape measure wheel and to make the tape measure wheel you put eight string around a dandelion yellow next one is really cool I like this a lot uh, it's the um, it's also from one of Rizigami's mods but it's the armor stand which three stone slabs and two iron ingots and you got an armor stand what's really cool about this is it works with any mod armor at all I don't want to shift click that on uh, oh you know what I could just do that so yeah, it actually this is what you're actually wearing, and then this is the armor stand here. So you can use any mod armor you want on this. Uh, pretty much from any mod, you can put any armor on. So yeah, you can actually just shift click your armor on like that. And you've got it back on. So yeah, and then the last thing there is, I, um, is cases. So, you can make it with four different types of wool. Green wool, blue wool, black wool, and red wool. And any type of wood, again. Just a little bit of glass, some uh, any type, uh, any of these four types of wool, and any type of plank you want. Or plank slab. And you get all of these. These ones are pretty cool, because they do something a little bit different. But, let's just place them down and see. 
Oh. Yeah, there is one more thing also. So you can place them like that, or you can place them like that. So you can either have them sitting down, or you can have it standing up like that. Uh, I think it depends how you place them, or if it's against a wall or something. I'm not really sure, but... Yeah, so let's see, can I place it? Yeah, I can, so... It doesn't have to be against a wall, but it depends how you place it on the ground, really. But these are just really cool, for two reasons. You can display your most precious items in here if you want, but, um, so... If you right-click them, it does nothing, but if you shift right-click, it opens it up for you. And you can put your most precious item. You can also just right-click on it. Uh, place it in and out, or you can right-click on it with nothing, and you can place it in whatever you want in there. So we can make black line jungle case, or just caseception. That looks a little bit weird. Let's see what that looks like on a shelf. Uh, shelf. That looks cool. It's all 3D and stuff. So you can open these like that. Makes a little bit of a cool noise. Those custom sounds. It's really easy to install this too, so... This is the last thing in the mod there is. I'm not sure what that tape measure does, but... I'm sure I'll figure out eventually. Maybe it's just not implemented yet, because it was not in the last update... It was not in the last time in 1.4.7. Uh, but, so these are just... One of my favorite things, how you can make them all different colors. Uh, but, so yeah, it's really easy to install this mod. You just install Minecraft Forge and then it, in the, you install Minecraft Forge in the jar, and then you put the mod, the, the mod zip folder inside of the Minecraft Forge mods folder in your .minecraft directory. So, yeah, it's really easy to install. But, so yeah, this, that's the end of this mod showcase. This is a really cool mod. And I'll see you all in the next mod review, hopefully. See you next time.